I took a Greater Toronto Marketing Alliance mission some years ago to Silicon Valley. And we were trying to find out what Silicon Valley was doing that was so good, why did companies go there? And it's a very entrepreneurial area, so that is fine. But they said, no, no, it's all about workforce. You know, that's what you've got. If you've got to have the, the right kinds of people there to do whatever it is you want to do. And they said, and you are so lucky in the GTA. I said, why us? I mean, we thought Silicon Valley was the place where everything was happening. He said, no, no. In Silicon Valley, people move from job to job all the time. Offers come in, they start a project here, they move, they, and you know, in the GTA, from what we've heard, people who start a project are almost certainly going to be there to finish it. And that's an amazing advantage. So you've got no you know, well organized, well-educated workforce, you've got a workforce that is stable and you can count on them. And this is just so, so important. There's one other thing, uh, when you talk about IT in particular, but other organizations, other industries, just the same, and that is that you really want to go where talent is. Talent follows talent. And uh, Michael Porter, who's the Harvard guru on clustering and so on, will be proud of this of the greater Toronto area. We've got a cluster here in the IT area of about 3,300 companies already, and that's growing dramatically. It'll be over 4,000, I'm sure, in the next two or three years. And those 3,300 companies generate over $30 billion in revenue already growing. Why is that important? Because if you're an ITC company and you want to have people who can be suppliers, to whom you can outsource, people you can do joint ventures with, this cluster effect is really vitally important. And we've got that and we seem to have that in spades.